Okay, we're starting off turn number 11, and I really wish I had saved that uh, cure potion or whatever it was that I had for this turn, because now I'm poisoned and I'm going to constantly take damage until I get rid of it. And it doesn't automatically go away at the end of my hero phase. I have to roll a 10 or higher to make it go away. I had to look it up in the instruction book, but yeah, at the end of your hero phase, you roll a dice, and if you get a 10 or better, then you can get rid of it. Otherwise, it sticks with you. All right, well, at any rate, let's start our hero phase by taking a damage. You take one damage at the start of your hero phase, so five, four. And, okay, so without moving, so we didn't need a healing surge yet, and we do have one more. So let's see here. You know what, could I have used this? You can remove this, your stance from this card when an adjacent monster hits your hero. If you do, I guess I guess technically I could have, although it didn't actually do damage to me, but I could have removed it. But again, I forgot. I'm not sure I would have anyway, but... Okay, so we're going to use Icing Death to attack the Spider Swarm. And we rolled a 14, which is uh, more than enough to kill the Spider Swarm, even without our Icing Death attack bonus. So Spider Swarm goes down. So that's going to go onto our experience pile here. So let's start updating. We attacked. We haven't moved yet. We do get a treasure. So let's go ahead and draw that treasure now before we forget. Let me mark off the Spider Swarm. And see what kind of treasure item we get this time. Necklace of Speed. This item remains in play. Your hero gains a plus two bonus to speed while this item is in play. So I guess this is just an ongoing effect. Uh, probably not super helpful, but we have that. Um, spider Swarm, or... Swarm of Spiders, whatever it's called, is gone. Now, so we can move nine. Maybe it actually will be helpful. So we can get away from this thing again. <clears throat> Let's see how far we can move with nine. So let me move this out of the way. So we can go corner to corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine. We can move all the way down here. And I think I will do that. I can move all the way down there. So I'm going to do that. And now at the end of my hero phase, I'm going to roll a dice to see if I get unpoisoned. And we got a 15, so we are not poisoned anymore. That's great. So get rid of the poison marker. And, yeah, I've already crossed it out. So we moved, and we are exploring. So let's draw a new tile. And we got kind of a hallway. Let me move this around a bit. And it's a white tile, so we will not have an encounter. But we will have a new monster. All right, so let's draw a monster from the pile. Ooh, do not place a monster. I like these. <laughs> I'm gonna have to print a bunch of these and just have a whole monster card, have a whole deck, a uh, deck full of these. <laughs> Buy like five copies of this game and just have an entire monster deck of do not place monsters. Okay, so, let's see. Now what? So, no monster. Um, we don't know about blessings and all that yet. No encounter. Uh, no villains. So the only thing is this hunting drake. And again, we've seen it a couple times. It's just going to move too closer. So it's going to go uh, mushroom to mushroom. And that's it. Yeah. That's it for turn number 11.